Hey guys, a few of you asked me about my thoughts on the brand new Leica M6 released in November 2022, the M6 reissue. And I've just got back my own Leica M6 Classic, so I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to cover both in the same video. I'll quickly cover the main differences between the old M6 and the new M6, my thoughts. But then more importantly, I'm going to cover the topic, which is, is a Leica camera for life? So this is a 1931 Leica Barnett camera. And the question is, will a Leica M6 still be fully functional in 91 years time? That's the age of this camera. Let's jump in and we'll take a look. Hey guys, Matt here from MrLeica.com. So firstly, what's the difference between the brand new Leica M6 and my Leica M6 Classic from the 1980s? Leica says there are three main differences. Number one, in no particular order, the top and bottom plate of the M6 Classic, this camera, was made of die-cast zinc rather than brass on say the earlier cameras, the M2, M3, M4, which makes it slightly lighter. This is lighter than my other Leica cameras. The new M6 now has brass top plate and bottom plate, and it's also got the black lacquer finish, the same as I think the Leica M11, which means you're not gonna get the same brassing effect from kind of extended use like you would get on say an old black paint Barnack camera. Uh, this one is heavily brass, but it does look quite nice as a result of that. If you're like a nut, the M6 was known to have flare in the viewfinder compared to say the earlier models, the M2, the M3, for example. With the new M6 Classic, they're using the MP finder, which has got the 0.72 magnification and they've coated all the components. So there's, there's going to be less flare. So when you look through, it should be much easier to focus and to see your, your range finder patch. And number three, the new M6 has got the grip or the leather of the new M11 and not the original. So the M11 grip's a bit more grippier where this one's a bit more, it's, it's not the grippiest of covers. So they're, the, they're said to be the three main differences. But other than that, 95%, the new one is exactly the same as the old one. And they said they're gonna be using some of the same machines to make the new one as they use for the old one. Another question around the new M6 is number one, will they release a silver version? And I think like I said, no, they're only going to release the, the, the one version. And number two, is it a limited edition camera like some of the other limited edition models in the past? And no, this is a new production model. So it should be in production for a, a long length of time, the same as the MA and the MP. So that means we now have three Leica film cameras that you can buy brand new. Leica MP, the Leica MA and the Leica M6 reissue. In terms of prices, they're all roughly the same. They're all roughly around five and a half thousand dollars. The new M6, I believe, is the cheapest. I think around five thousand three hundred. If you're in the UK, you can pick the new M6 up for four thousand five hundred pounds. Yes, that sounds a lot of money, but considering they're building these cameras by hand, it's probably about right for a Leica camera. And equally, if they brought out a camera which is going to be say three thousand pounds then the price of the original ones like this one on the used market would then decrease. So by bringing it out at the four and a half thousand pound mark, you're probably not going to lose money on your existing M6 if you've already got one. And equally, if you buy one new, they're going to hold the value like most Leica cameras. See my blog post on are Leica cameras worth it? I can perhaps link it in the description below. Oh, one other point, the new Leica M6 re-release is only going to have the one viewfinder option, the 0.72, which is a bad thing, I think, from people that like to use fast lenses so having a high magnification viewfinder makes it much easier to critically focus your images which is why I always use an M3 and not an M6. Okay so the next topic is is a Leica camera for life? I would normally say yes if you're looking at film cameras but my recent experience with my Leica M6 now tells me that that's not actually true. So when I mean is it like a camera for life, I mean will it be fully functional from the day you buy it until <laughs> the day you stop using it, ideally like in 90 years time in the case of this 1931 like a 1C Barnack camera. This camera has been CLA'd recently and it's absolutely like brand new to operate. It's just so, so smooth. I've modified it with a 21 to 25 Voigtlander finder and the 25 lens and now it's like a point and shoot and it's just absolutely beautiful for street photography and just black paint and just amazing. So this is proof that the old Leica cameras were built for life. This has already outlived most people that didn't live to 91 years old and it's still like new now so it's probably going to last probably another 91 years. So old Leica cameras are built for life because they are 100% fully mechanical. Now onto the less 
uh, upbeat part of this video. So I just got my like M6 back. It's been away for nine months to a like like a Jedi guru person in the UK. He's a retired lucky technician and doesn't advertise, so I, I, I can't give his name. But safe to say, he's one of the best in the business in the UK at fixing up like a cameras. He's the awesome guy that's done my like a 1C, and over the years he's done my both of my M3s and a lot of my cameras over the years. If anyone can do it, he can do it. So I sent my M6 off, I'd say roughly nine months ago at the start of the year because my M6 was getting to 22 exposures and then it was locking up where I couldn't advance anymore. And I don't know if you can see, I'll maybe do a zoomed in clip. This M6 is like pristine condition. It's still got like the plastic on the bottom. It's a very, very clean copy of an M6. And so I was like, oh, I'll just send it to him with another camera. I sent it actually at the same time I sent my little Barnet camera. And I said, oh, can you just like, um, loosen up whatever needs loosening up so I can get 36 exposures. He's like, yeah, no problem. That's all I thought. I thought it'd be a two minute job, loosen our screw, and then my M6 be back to pristine condition. I then got a phone call to say, you like me to doesn't work, or it's kind of temperamental, but don't worry, I'll try and fix it, blah, blah, blah. Months went past, another month went past, another phone call, like I can't supply us any parts for the M6, and the M6 circuitry is different to the M6 TTL, so we can't even get them from, say, a TTL body, but I have got another broken M6, where we can take the circuit board from that M6 and put it into this M6, so that your light meter now works. So, okay, great. A few more months went by. It turns out that the M6 circuit board and the other M6 classic was also dead. Like it can't provide any parts. The new circuitry and the new M6 reissue, hence putting it in this video, is different to the original M6. So even though like I've just re-released the like M6, you can't take the circuits out of that M6 and repair all the old M6s which were already on the market for the circuitry, which means the light meter. So the Alec M6 is not a, like a camera for life because the electronics can and will fail at some point. Yes, the camera is still fully functional, so it's not quite as dire as, say, a Haspad X-Pan. Or my Mia 7, for example, the electronic cameras where when the electronics go, they are totally dead. Contacts T2, another great example. If they're electronic cameras, when the electronics go, you've got a, you've got a brick. When the electronics go your light car, you're just going to have a camera with no light meter, which isn't the end of the world. But then the whole point that people seem to be buying M6s rather than cheaper options such as the like M4P is because I think they want a light meter. I happily work without light meters, so I much prefer the M3 if I shoot 50 mil, which is most of the time. M2 if I shoot 35 mil, which is less often. And M4P if I shoot say 75 mil, 28 mil, or with flash. The M4P is pretty much the same as an M6, just without the light meter. And so now the light meter is dead in this camera, I would have been better off with an M4P. But just a warning, because the M6 has got electronics, they will die at some point. Whereas the M3, M2, M4, those three cameras in particular, 100% mechanical, they will go on forever. I think the same as this camera, because even if the parts are no longer available, you can always make parts for mechanical cameras. With electronic cameras, you can't do that, or cameras with electronics in. So more examples of cameras which are on the high risk list, like a CL or the Minolta CL. The meter cell dies in the CL, and it also dies in the M5. The Lycra M7 is slightly newer, but obviously that's got electronics, so that's probably going to die at some point. That's not going to be a camera for life, and I think it's the same is going to be true of the new M6. So the question is, will I buy a new M6? And the answer is no. But that said, well done to Leica for re-releasing a new film camera and for hopefully maybe inspiring other manufacturers to also release a new film camera. Uh, film is obviously booming at the moment. Uh, prices continue to rise, sadly, but the popularity of film keeps increasing. And so maybe maybe Voigtlander will release a new Besser camera. Who knows? And if, if they do it at the affordable end of the scale, then that's going to help everybody that can't afford the the new M6. The argument against whether other manufacturers are going to release new film cameras is with Leica they've got the the brain power and the, the capabilities and the skilled like technicians to be able to make film cameras because they're, they're already doing it anyway with the MP and the MA. With other co companies whether it's Voigtlander or Cusina Voigtlander or maybe if you want an SLR camera and you're hoping Nikon make a new FM3A for example I don't think Nikon have necessarily got the capabilities and staffing and machines to bring out a new film camera. So 
I don't know how easy it's going to be for other cameras to follow suit with Leica released in the new M6. Uh, fingers crossed they will. Uh, it's always nice to see new film cameras on the market. And sorry for the negative part of this video that perhaps not all Leica cameras are for life, but definitely some of them are. And if you get the right ones, they are amazing. If you want to see more film cameras released, smash the like button to end on a high note. It is worth noting that many people absolutely love the Leica M6. If you want to see a really upbeat video on the M6, I'll link Joe Greer's video at the end. And as always, a massive thanks to my awesome patrons.